Hi, welcome back to Naturally Pink. I'm trying not to say episodes because my husband has informed me these are not episodes. Unless, of course, you consider my being awkward and trying to find the energy to put on makeup and get in front of a camera and talk about stuff to nothing other than myself episodic. In any event, I've mentioned before that I play D&D, Dungeons and & Dragons, and I never really have any luck finding a minifig that accurately portrays the characters that I am playing. And while minifigs aren't entirely necessary to play D&D, we like to have little whiteboard maps and stuff like that and put our little people on them. Kind of sick of being some random elf or halfling or something when my characters are, of course, so much more nuanced than that. <laughs> so instead of trying to have minifigs that look like my characters, I decided to have a minifig that looks like me. I happen to have a little plastic figure that is a nun with a gun and she's cute, but she's a nun with a gun and that's that's not me at all. So I decided that since she was plastic, it would be easy enough to kind of like shave off the parts that I don't need and make her look a little bit like me. And so that's what we're gonna do. So here she is in all her nun with a gun glory, and let's get started. Our tools are going to mostly be an X-Acto knife, a nail file, and later on a Dremel. First I draw on everywhere that I need to cut or cut off to have a basic idea of the shape so I don't just cut off things willy-nilly. First things that come off are her cross and her rosary. These are really easy to cut off because they're really thin and they are basically raised bits on otherwise flat surfaces so they're super easy to just shave those guys off. Next up, I'm going to remove the bib portion of her dress and try to shave away bits of her neck to make her neck a little bit thinner and make her dress look more like a normal dress instead of a nun's outfit. And then I spent quite a bit of time trying to get her neck thinner and her face thinner and really define the area between her shoulder and her neck and her face and her hair. And then start to slightly reduce the size of her bust and change the shape of it a little bit in addition to taking off her belt and taking her waist in a touch. Now while I am probably as big as this nun, I do have quite a bit of vanity and it is a fantasy figure. so. I am taking off quite a bit of belly and hip. I am, however, 100% leaving the dump truck on the back. Since I've shaved so much off of the front and the sides, I need to readdress the folds of her skirt, raising them up to a more natural level, especially where her leg is bent and her knee is there, so it doesn't look like her front half just got chopped off.
The next order of business is to remove the gun. First, I just lop off most of it. And then I try to take out what would be inside of her hand to make it look like she's not holding anything at all and that maybe she's pointing like the other hand is. Her finger is still bent, but I don't think that that's a big deal so much as her hand being empty. Now I'm trying to turn the thing on her head into something that resembles hair by first making it look like it's all one piece instead of two separate pieces of cloth. So it basically looks like she's got long hair and bangs, which is perfect for me. I tried for quite some time to try to create something resembling cleavage. I narrowed her neck more and tried to dig into the space to make it look more like she's wearing a dress. No matter how hard I tried, I couldn't quite get boobs in there and the plastic started to shred. So eventually I just gave up and left it where it was at. And one more good sanding to try and smooth her out all over. And now I get to paint her. I'm starting with a very light skin tone in her face, neck, and hands. By the way, I do apologize, most of my painting is nearly, if not completely, out of frame. I tried to fix as much as I could in the post, but there you have it. And then I tried to use this tiny little Dremel tool to sort of sand her smooth after the first coat of paint to try and even her out a little bit after the trauma of the X-Acto knife and Dremel tool. Adding a little bit of more brown into the skin tone so that I can add shading and what might be considered a tan, just to give her skin a little bit of dimension. I'm painting her dress blue, and while of course my favorite color is pink, her hair is going to be pink, and I did not want her to be head to toe one color. This is a nice pretty bright shade, and I believe I had a shirt that actually ended up looking very similar to this when it's done. So she gets two coats so that it's not see-through, and then we move on to her hair. That is of course pink, and what you don't see because I painted it off frame was dry brushing that in a darker shade to kind of look like hair strands. Also off camera she gets polka dots, a face, and the base of her stand painted black. I then hot glue her to a stick so that I can spray paint her with clear coat and she's all done. Here she is in all her glory. She does look a little bit like Freddy Krueger in the face because of the Dremel and all of the debris that it caused. But if you don't look too closely, I think that it's fine. She's kind of messed up looking, but she's very tiny and she's going to be on a board, so who cares? You can see here a little bit on her butt where the paint lifted, where I should have done a primer on her first, but I added a little dab of glue and that stayed down since then. So there we have it. Thank you so much for joining me on this little adventure. She looks kind of like me in certain ways, well enough that when I have her on the board, there's sure not going to be anybody that mistakes her for being anybody else's figure. So thanks again, and if you enjoyed watching me make this thing and you want to watch me make other things, feel free to like and subscribe or whatever you do with your YouTube situation, and we'll see you real soon. Bye!